this. Where is this? However, when I looked over at Nekamara standing tall in a wide stance, my, sen my sense of reality f felt even hazier. Man, I slept good. That's all you could think about when you just woke up from consciousness? Oh my. Where are we? What? what the heck is this? Voices expressing surprise and confusion began to surround me one after another. It seems that the others have started to wake up as well. Mm. Why was I sleeping out of place like this? Oh well, I should go back to sleep for a little while. That's obviously wrong. No, don't! You seriously can't do that! Do to me? I assume this this was that gas doing it. That gas we were forced to breathe right after the train started moving. It must have knocked us all out. And then we were brought here, huh? In, in that case, this must be the in interior of the front ha of the fun house. Welcome. Welcome to Strawberry House. Okay, it makes sense with all the strawberries. Yep. Of course, the fun house. Strawberry House is part of the fun house. A part, you say? To explain. This is Strawberry House in its entirety. You are currently at the indoor park located on the third floor. As you can see, there's a lot of playground equipment with strawberry designs. How fancy! Now then, next is, next is the second floor. There's a lounge that's perfect for freshening up, and I prepared five guest rooms that are lined up like boo! The guest, the guest rooms are divided up by quality grade. The deluxe room is soundproof and has excellent air insulation. The standard room may have so-so insulation, but it's pretty, still pretty decent. And the crummy room has severe airflow and draft problems. That includes my explanation of the second floor. Last but not least is the first floor of the Strawberry House. On this floor is a room called the, the, the Final Dead Room. That's all like, boom! You get to the Final Dead Room at any time, but be extra cautious when you pick the difficulty setting. On the same floor, there's a hallway called uh, Strawberry Hall. When you pass through it, there's a tr truly strange, enormous tower standing tall with a boom, boom! It's called a Strawberry Tower. Please use your own feet to get a feel for what the inside of Strawberry Tower is like! This includes a tour, but I think it was difficult to understand with my wordy explanation, so you should all use your own two feet to explore the inside of the building. That's all for me. Any questions? Heck yeah, we have questions, obviously. Really, what's your question? To bring us into a place like this, what do you plan to make us do this time? I have a lot of questions, but let's start with that one first. Didn't I explain to you? This is the mode of this time. An escape game. What? Are you serious? In other words. The concept this time is a closed circle within a closed circle. Like hope you can be back then. This fun house is a completely closed space. There's only one way to get out of this closed space building. When the killing begins, I'll let you guys out when the next killing happens. What? Bullcrap? What? So we definitely fell into a trap! What the fuck? Damn it! We can't get out of here until the next killing happens. This is troubling. I knew this was a trap, but I never expected it to be so straightforward. Oh, foolish of me! If only I'd erected a magic barrier, I wouldn't have had to breathe in that gas. Mm. I let my guard down and end up falling asleep. Hey. Like, why would gas even work on a robot? That's supposed to be when you make your move. <laughs> gas shouldn't pose a problem, but if they activate my sleep mode, even I won't stand a chance. Huh? Sleep mode? Oh. That's right, it's a cutting edge function that, that puts all, uh, my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Just press the good night button on the back of my neck and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. What's the point of that function? <laughs> then I just tell you it puts my other functions to sleep even if I have insomnia. Hey, hey. Do you even need to sleep? In order to awaken from sleep mode, I just need to set the alarm in my chest. It's all possible with just one touch. He's not even listening. He probably wants to live like humans as much as he can, uh, such as the sad nature of robotic organisms. At any rate, Monokuma has sure stuffed him with a lot of useless functions. Anyway, Mechamaru must have lost consciousness because his button was pressed. What a blunder, he must have taken advantage of that white smoke and went around me. I'll never let that happen ever again! Hey, hey. For now, why don't we look for the exit? What? Exit? Is there even an exit? I mean, if there was, this wouldn't uh, be a closed space, right? 
It make Monokuma's uh, mo mode of meaningless. Dumbass. What are you giving giving up for? If we were brought inside this place, then there is definitely an exit out somewhere. Amazing. Amazing. A, a heart that refuses to give up until the very end. That must be hope. <laughs> yes, I understand. Now let's explore the inside of this building with the map that we got. Well. Well, exploring on your own is too dangerous. It might be better if we team up with someone. Damn right. Then Akane, you come with me. Oh, that's an unusual combo. Could this guy be? It's nothing like that, idiot. There's just something I, I want to talk to her about. I don't mind. Whatever's fine. Wow, when you two stand right next to each other, there's a notable, a noticeable height difference. That's... I mean, I guess. You. If we're gonna go, let's hurry up and go. Alright, then we'll go on ahead first. With those parting words, the two of them left the area. I guess it's time we also... Sonya already left with Gundam. Aha! Rejected! Oh my. <laughs> of course not! Why would I get dumped? You you just did though. Now then. Hey. Shocky, would you like to go yeah. together? Me? Yep. I haven't really had the chance to talk to you, so I thought this would be a great opportunity. For now. Then take me with you too. Three people is okay, right? Yeah. That's fine, but... Oh, I get it. Kazuichi's trying to avoid Hajime. Huh? Hey, hey. What are you talking about? Avoid Hajime? It's nothing like that. What do you mean? Well, Call it a hunt, but maybe Kazuichi can't stop thinking about it, you know? The possibility that you're the traitor. I, was, I just said what Kazuichi was feeling. Well, you know, the truth is we don't know anything about you, so it's not my fault if I don't trust you. What does that mean? I We've been together this whole time and you still don't know who I am? Obviously wrong. Like that matters, it's not like I, I know the real you. Just like how we didn't know anything about Mikan, the real me, and the only person and the only reason we're here is because you were the one who suggested we go to the funhouse, right? Are you saying I lured you guys here? Why would I do that? It's not that far fetched, you know. I really do want to trust hmm. you, but I just can't yet. What? But We've done things like, you asked me to go to the beach with you, and then we communicated at the hospital. Nagato's more trustworthy? I don't understand that! Yep. Mm. Yep. Um, okay. Huh? Looks like we're not very well liked. <laughs> it's not like I'm complaining about it. We'll charge it. Uh, we'll, ch uh, we'll change anything. We're just a traitor and a robot after all. I'm not the traitor. Oh, that's right. My apologies. Well then, Hajime. Let's, let's show everyone else the values and leftovers. <laughs> let's magnificently find the exit with our very own hands. If we do that, it will solve everything. When people stop trusting you, it seriously sucks. Oh, man. But, what? That, this place is crazy looking. <laughs> Let's magnificently find the exit with our very own hands. If we do that, it will solve everything. Wait, so is this entire chapter just gonna take place in this crazy looking uh, building? No matter where I look, every area is decorated with strawberry patterns. I don't hate strawberries, but if these patterns continue, I might start to get sick of them. Oh. According to Monokuma's map, the only thing on the third floor is the park we're currently at. Then it looks like I don't have any any business on, on this floor. <laughs> Let me know if you're feeling thirsty. Is he, is he talking about this, this soda fountain? I don't really want to drink anything that comes out of his eyes. Um, wait, what? Oh. Uh. This open area is apparently an indoor park. The expected of strawberry house, the playground equipment scattered about has a strawberry theme. Of course, I'm not a kid who'd be amused by something like this. Besides, I don't have time to play anyway. There's a lot of different types of flowers blooming in the garden. Looks like there's there are sunflowers, but I guess there aren't any strawberries. This is so weird.
Okay, we got this thing right here. Huh? I've been found. You did been found. Okay, that's all we can find here. What is it? Okay, we're going to the stairs. According to the map, there should be a guest rooms and the lounge on the second oh. floor. All right, I shall go explore the guest rooms. The lounge is all up to you. Yeah, got it. Okay, there's more stairs there. This is so, oh, this place is so weird. Crummy room? Why are you standing around here? Weren't you gonna go check out the guest rooms? Well, it seems like the standard room over there is, is, is already occupied. I should go explore another place first. It's occupied? Oh, I see... I see this over here, but uh, I'll check that out a little bit later. Can I go inside the rooms? Okay, I can. Okay. Wait, that's it in here? That's freaking lame. Um, is there anything new if I go to this room? Nope, everything is just the same. How about the standard room? Okay, so it said it was occupied, right? Hey, hey! Hey, what do you want to talk about? Well, you know, I'm sure you don't want to hear this since I caused a similar incident. And I already know that a guy like me has no right to say this to you, hmm. but when I look at you, I just have to say something what? and spit it out. Hey. You don't need to act so stubborn, you know, because I know what you're going through. Huh? So. The only reason you're standing here right now is because someone sacrificed himself for you. You feel guilty about that, isn't that right? Like. What are you talking about? I know. So you don't want to be honest about it. Well, I understand that feeling too. You? Seriously, what the heck are you talking so. about? Well, but like he said, it's better j to just be alive. It might hurt to look at his painful appearance right now, but you're much be better off because at least he's still alive. I mean, for me. Sorry. Huh? Are you crying? I... Right now, I feel very grateful to her, but I can't tell her that anymore. So... But you're different, so... Huh. Make sure you tell him how grateful you huh? are. What are you trying to say again? How come you don't get it? Oh, that's it? But there's a Monokuma thing! Um, okay. Can I go in the deluxe room? Man, who's gonna stay in the deluxe room? Why are there even monitors and cameras in the in in these places anyway? Sheesh. I never expected we lose three people during my absence. Yeah. Mm. Hiyoko and Ibuki, those two were quite the noisy bunch. But it's as if a fire uh, has smoth smothered, and I cannot believe Mikam was when we murdered them. That's why, no matter what what shape you're in, we're all extremely happy happy that you came back to us. 
They must live up to everyone's expectations. <laughs> as long as I'm here, I will not tolerate any more victims. I will not allow it. Okay, how about this deluxe room? Dude, these rooms are so strange. All right, let's go and check the lounge. So this is the lounge. This is all, uh, also completely covered in strawberries. It's going to be difficult to relax here. I guess for now, I should look for things I might be able to use. How mean, let I think this savage tone would confuse me. By four dark devils of destruction. I have waited for you, invading Black Dragon Champy. Exert your strength to your heart's consent. <laughs> I shall wait until then. Champy returns with his report. With his report, he has such skillful control over his hamsters. He might really be able to communicate with them. I see. This place is supposed to be a lounge, but it seems I may not be able to calm myself and relax in here. Seriously, I thought the amusement park was in bad taste, but this is even you worse. Right. I agree, Monokuma's centric taste would shock even an, an, an Indian. Shock an Indian? I, yeah, I don't get it. What is... What is that picture? Why would there be a portrait in a place like this? It seems very out of place. Also, the placard on this portrait... Izuru... Kamukura? Okay, here's the telephone. Will I be able to call somewhere with this? A grape? Is it gonna keep ringing forever? Okay. No one's picking up. Let me tell you this. What a mysterious device. It may be used for summoning rituals. A, no a novice shouldn't careless to touch it. It's probably not that dangerous. Aside from the button, it may, it may, it looks like any a, a, any other regular telephone, but it doesn't work like a normal telephone. And I don't even know where it was connecting this to. This too must be What's the going on? causality. My four dark devils of destruction are investigating the area, but it seems there's nothing to, of note to report. Why have you given up? There may still be something on this floor that we haven't searched yet. Yeah, you're right. It's too, still too soon to give up. That matter to your discretion. Okay, here's a clock right here. Are they done with their conversation? Alright, so we are going to the first floor. There wasn't anything terribly important on the third floor, third or the second floor, but that doesn't mean there's nothing here. I should look around thoroughly. Oh, how'd you get over here all of a sudden? Final dead room? Okay, I'll explore that last, probably. This building is peculiar. Look at the inside of this restroom. I can't even uh, take a piece of crap like this. <laughs> this place is certainly defective. Alright. Um, uh, what the heck? It's a wall clock! What kind of placement is that? Every time I see a restroom, I get this lonely feeling. When in the world is my constipation going to be fixed? 
Oh wow, I can't do anything about the girls restroom. Oh man. Why is there a great button on, on here? What happened? Did you get tired again? No, I was just thinking, why strawberry? Personally, I think tangerines are totally fine too, or even fruits like peaches and apples. Hey, hey. Then why strawberry? Yep. What was that conversation just now? Huh? Is there anything you want to say to me? No, nothing. The possibility isn't zero. I do think that it's extremely close to zero, but it's never going to be zero no matter what. Uh. I'm sorry, Hajime. Sorry about what? <laughs> Everyone is a symbol of hope. They're all completely different compared to a quitter like me. I'm terribly sorry that someone like me is forced to be be with some everyone like this, dude. Well, that's a crazy looking place. Okay, so let's let's take the elevator. What will happen if I press this? It's not reacting at all. Really? I can't use the elevator? Oh my god, heck this. Okay, let's go to Strawberry Hall. So this is Strawberry Hall. It seems this place is also filled with strawberries. What a creepy looking hallway. As I recall, Strawberry Tower is on the other side of this door, right? According to the map, that's correct. However, this order is all wrong! It's bad for my heart. Is that sarcasm toward me for having no heart? Okay, so I really have to explore the final dead room. Okay. Let's see what the final dead room has. Allow me to explain. Final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Home Monokuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the octagon. The, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. What is that? The ultimate weapon? <laughs> the final dead room place sounds suspicious, but going inside might be a little dangerous. Monokuma did mention a life-threatening game. It's not even worth playing if you if you get um, if all you get after winning is a weapon. Oh. Show some spirit! Wait, everyone's there now? Not Nagito! And not these two either. So I guess we're going to the hall. There's no door now. There's no way we can open a door like this. I wonder what that means. It's funny. It's spelled just like the word open. That's because that's the point. <laughs> yes! Oh man, a grape door! Sheesh. What terrible taste. You don't like strawberries? So why the heck is there a grape door? Huh? A 
Along the tower floor, there appear to be many lights that uh, built into the floor, illuminating the wall. The lights are all red. Man. Here's an illustration of Monomi, I guess. At least it's not an illustration of Monokuma. On both sides of the door in the far back stand two huge pillars. Perhaps, while well, thinking, I turn around and check behind me. Just as I thought, there are pillars or gateposts on both sides of the door Nekamaru and I entered from. It appears they're standing face to face uh, with, with the other pair. Man, everything looks so strange in this game. Well, let's go inside the door. I thought this was Strawberry Tower. Doesn't it match the one on the lounge phone and the one we found near the first floor elevator? Perhaps a door might be the exit? Exit? Take a look at the map we received from Monokuma. I see. There's nothing drawn on the other side of the ta of the door. Now, does this mean that the exit on 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 the other side is of this door? Wait, are you serious? Show some spirit. Uh oh. Here it comes, the incredible strength of one million horsepower! I see. Oh. Okay. Don't look down on this body strength. Just a little, ju uh, just a little bit more, and I'll get this door open. Did something happen? What do you mean? Did something happen? Why is there everybody here? Is he really upset that he can't take a crap? That's hilarious. Apparently Monokuma has something to say. Really? Okay, talk to him last then. Did you tell Akane what you wanted to say? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she didn't want to hear it, but I'm the only person who could say it. Oh, I see. Where were you? I swear, making Overlord wait. Was close. Very well, but this will happen a second time. I don't get what that means. Um. Hey, Hajime, were you safe? Apparently, Monokuma has something to say, but I have an odd feeling about this. I only have a, a bad feeling about this. Well. Apparently, Monokuma has something to say, but he's not going to tell us until everyone's together. It's probably something terrible mm. again. It'd be much better if it was just terrible. Well, that's what it's gonna be, I think. Hajime. I was waiting for you, you know? Why were you waiting for me? Monokuma said you'll be presenting something when everyone is here. Okay. How are you guys doing? Were you able to get, general idea, uh, get a general idea of the strawberry house aside? Oh. That's a strange thing to say. It sounds like there are other buildings. Of course. 
That's why there's this thing called a contact elevator. Let me ask. Hey, hey! Even though it's an elevator, it's a big mistake to think that moves vertically. This is an elevator that travels along a rail, so even moving horizontally is, easy, is as easy as pie. Oh man! So it's just like that one elevator in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, right? Yep. It's a grape house. Uh -huh. Hey, um. The front house is an enormous building that's made up of other buildings. See ya later. We we can worry about the details when we get to the grape house. I'll be going on ahead. Uh -huh. Are we screwed? What should we do? Show some spirit! We just have to go, oh, go for it. The only way we can overcome this situation is to make a move. I mean... <laughs> of course not! Why are you saying that in front of Miss Sonia? Is that a bad thing to admit that you're scared in front of the person that you like? Huh? Yeah, you're really scared. Oh my god, it opened. Why didn't it open earlier? Wow, look at this elevator. It's all full of puzzle pieces. Hmm. How so? Hey. It's not vibrating at all, right? This is probably a really high performance elevator if it's not vibrating all that much. Hmm. Maybe it's not actually moving. All right, let's open the door to make sure. You must not. You cannot, that is dangerous. Wow, we didn't even feel anything on the elevator and then we're just suddenly here? What a crazy place. Welcome to Grape House! Now then, allow me to explain the Grape House! What? What is this? Aside from the fact that there's no final dead room, it's basically no different than Strawberry House. Just like the, how there's a Strawberry Hall over there, there's a Grape Hall on this side. And when you go through Grape Hall, that, also, that means there's a Grape Tower. The second floor of Grape uh, House is the same as the second floor of Strawberry House. I prepared a five guest room. I prepared five guest rooms of different types, along with a relaxing lounge. But the main attraction of Grape House is obviously the third floor, the Monokuma Archive. Everyone loves the Monokuma Archive. No, we don't. Your proud accomplishments and contributions. Oh man. Like... Where's the food anyway? Huh? Is that necessary? Okay. What are you saying? <laughs> what? Don't tell me. So we're gonna starve in here? <laughs> Time for you to panic! Hey. Right? Huh? Alright! Hey, hey, hey! Man, you're really obsessed with this? Like... Oh, okay. Looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. Damn! 
Hey. Damn right. Then... I see. The most suspicious place. Show some spirit! What's well, god dang retarded? Alright, well, in this case, that is gonna be it for this episode of Danganronpa 2. And next time, we're gonna be exploring the Grape House, so... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.